How's everybody doing tonight? All right, there was one cloud went over here a while ago and, and rained on us for about 10 minutes. A little wind and we thought, you know, this ain't right. So we just told it to leave and it did. So one more time, the weather is cooperating with us. It's going to be a beautiful night at the park. This is our fifth show of the 28th season. You're in for a big treat tonight. Uh, I'm going to introduce the band to you here in a little bit. But as usual, you're going to have to hear from me for a few minutes because that's what I do. I'm Barry Britton. I'm the director of Summer in the Park. I'm working with uh, San Marcos Performing Arts Association. This has been a program of San Marcos Performing Arts Association for 27 consecutive years, and this is the 28th consecutive year. It's our largest program. We're very proud of the fact that we have been sustainable over all these years and have brought a lot of entertainment to the folks in San Marcos, and we're going to continue to do so into the future. Part of the, what we need to do is we need to, to acknowledge and recognize our sponsors every week. I want to make sure that I do that because that's what they are putting their hard money down for is to bring a nice program to San Marcos, and I want to make sure that everybody knows that that's how this happens. We do get generous support from San Marcos Arts Commission, and we also collaborate very closely with the City of San Marcos Parks and Recreation. They are the people that allow us to use their park, and uh, we appreciate that a lot. I want to make sure that everybody that's here tonight understands that there are park rules that apply. Uh, we do have a, a, uh, a, a drinking uh, ordinance in, the, in, in San Marcos, but we have it waived for the uh, Summer in the Park shows. So you may drink alcohol for these shows, and uh, you just, we just don't want to do it in glass containers or in styrofoam. The rules are very clear on that, and the rangers are going to be coming around, they're not really going to be busting anybody, but they do hope that everybody will respect the law. Also, this is a no smoking venue for the city. So if you're a smoker, um, I'm afraid that you just can't smoke in this park uh, during these shows. Uh, be respectful of the law and also be respectful of your friends around you who don't smoke. So those are kind of some of the rules. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody abides by it. We also have a, uh, a, a trash and garbage collection system. You see it in the, these yellow placarded uh, uh, collection areas around the park. Uh, and the, the purpose of that is that the city has made a commitment to keep as much of the trash and debris out of the landfill as possible. So we want to recycle as much of everything that goes into those bags. We have, uh, we have recyclable for aluminum and, and glass and plastic and paper and garbage and uh, we all but there's going to be a few things that we can't and those we want to make that just as as small as we can because that's the stuff that's going to end up going to the landfill so respect our park please it's a beautiful place we want to make sure that the trash and the glass and the, and the styrofoam doesn't get down in probably one of the most beautiful rivers in the entire state of texas so let's keep it that way be respectful uh, we live in a beautiful place so let's keep it that way now I want to also I want to I want to make sure that for one more time I'm going to talk about my sponsors because my sponsors are so so important to the to the longevity of this program. We've got we've got a, a, a nice group of series sponsors on these banners you see behind me. Uh, your your James Walker happens to be one of our series sponsors. He's right in the center. He's the guy that gives away the football schedules. He's gives he's giving you away uh, plastic cups. And now he's also just told me before the show that he's gotten, he's gotten an idea about doing a, a, a scavenger hunt. So if you'll go to his Facebook page and learn about it, there's $1,100 at stake here, 750 of which will go to a charity of your choice, oh, wow. and another $350 that could go into your pocket. So there's a series of things that he's got on there. They're about going around the city and, and gathering up items on the scavenger hunt. And I'm not going to tell you what they are. You have to go to his Facebook page and find it out. Uh, it's already begun. Uh, the deadline is going to be August the 15th. That's the day after our two tons of, of steel final show on August the 14th. If you're interested in this scavenger hunt, go to James Walker's uh, Facebook page and you'll get the rules and, and uh, find out what it is you got to find. So... Uh, this is, I tell you what, I've got my, my sponsors are really stepping up this year on things to, just for fun. Uh, Grande Communication, another one of our series sponsor, 
Stephanie Cano is over here in, in, in their little tent, uh, and she's she's taking um, tickets right now for two drawings tonight because she couldn't be here last week for two sets of four tickets to Fiesta Texas. If you have a, a, a want to this summer to go to Fiesta Texas, there's a chance to get four tickets for free. Uh, go over there and sign your name and put it in her, her drawing, and we'll draw those names out. And, uh, uh, you know, there you go. If you got people coming into town, it would be a great thing to do. Uh, we've also got another one of my series sponsors, Wonder World Park, is doing discount tickets back at, at our information booth. Uh, and another of our series sponsor, uh, the Lions Club, Tube Rental, they're doing discount tickets. If you have people coming in town or if they have never done those things yourself, do them because it's fun, first of all. And secondly, it supports the folks that are supporting this program, and I want to be, make sure that we do that. Our, every, every week we have a featured uh, performance sponsor. Tonight it's Frost Bank. Uh, Frost Bank has been one of our sponsors for many years, and I want to recognize the fact that you know, are the Frost Bank people here tonight? If there are, raise your hand, please. Over here. Thank you very much for your support. We really do appreciate it. If, if we, we, we do, we really do. So uh, thank you, Frost Bank. They're, they're basically our, our performance sponsors. Uh, are able, they, they allow us to have sound and lighting systems for these to, to make sure that you hear the show the way the musicians want it to be heard. So it's important that, that our performance sponsors are, are always available to us year after year to help us bring the sound and lighting system out here that will give us a wonderful show for everybody. We also have spotlight sponsors. They're on these yard signs around. Our newest is, is Byron Eccles State Farm Insurance. They're also giving out some fans back here at this, at this uh, uh, table right next to our information booth. If you'd like a little fan, and so it's to keep yourself cool during the show, go back and see those folks, and they'll be glad to help you out. Uh, they're talking a little bit about something later on in the, in the, in the summer for a little more fun as well. Uh, Academy Sports Plus Outdoors, another one of our, our fine series sponsors, has a VIP uh, experience. we got winners sitting back there right now that went into their store, signed up. Uh, they're sitting in the, in the Academy tent. Uh, they won themselves a, a rolling ice chest and four chairs for doing it. So, you know, there's things happening for uh, out and around the uh, center of the park that's growing, and we'd, we'd love to have the participation from our sponsors. But I also want to make sure that you understand that sponsors make it happen for us. If you know people that work for these businesses, if you, if you have an opportunity to do business with someone, Choose somebody that's doing something nice for you. And then if you look at these names on the banners and on these placards and on these yard signs, uh, thank them or do business with them. But make sure that you understand that uh, things like this don't happen without help of great businesses and individuals like our sponsors. So that's my spiel on sponsors. I also want to point out that back in the back here, Behind the information booth is Troop 1954. It's a group of Boy Scouts, and they're back here doing fundraising and their community service. If you're hungry, thirsty, want a snow cone, you want some popcorn, you want a, a sausage wrap, whatever it is, go back there and see those folks because they're out here doing their service for the community, and we want to support them just as much as we can. So you go get it, Troop 1954. All right, I'm going to stop talking for a little while, and I'll come back and, and visit with you after the after the, this fine group of musicians has an opportunity to, to get through about uh, 45 minutes or so of music. This is going to be a treat for you because you're going to be hearing some of the finest musicians that there are in the state of Texas. Johnny Nicholas, Earl Poole Ball, Floyd Domino, and Ken Fur. Individually, these are some world-class, world-class musicians. Collectively, they're going to get something special going on up here tonight, and I think you're going to be really, really impressed. It's the first time we've done anything like this, and I think you're going to really, really like it. And so I got a hold of these guys, and they said, hey, man, let's do it. So without me talking any more about it, let me introduce to you the collection, which is Pianorama. Awfully, awfully, uh, awfully strong intro, man. We got, we got, now, we, now we got to deliver the goods. 
Good evening, everybody. I'm Johnny Nicholas. This is Floyd Domino, and, and uh, to my left, the great Mr. Earl Cool Ball. Back here on the drums, Ken Fuller. Ken Fuller. <clears throat> We're delighted to be here in St. Marcus. And uh, there's that breeze in the cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 